Okay, it's boring update time. So whatever you do, don't watch this video ever, ever. No, 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 don't do that. But well, actually, yeah, I do. Ca carry on. It's all right. It's all right. It's just me just talking for a while, which is basically what you guys like. So, fine. Here I am. Uh, time's taken up rather a lot because I'm doing an awful lot of cleaning about the place. I think I developed a bit of a dust mite issue. So I've been using as many chemical-free cleaning methodologies as I can to try and get this place um, essentially up to scratch. And it's amazing that when you take um, your domestic cleaning intensely seriously, like behind things you wouldn't normally do. I mean, I did a video about like tidying the place up many moons ago. And it was, you know, behind the television was a scary area. You know, I mean, it was a scary area. It was like, you know, all the vampire films and all the horror films and like, you know, Indiana Jones. Nothing compared to behind the television. Seriously. You know, you, you go in there like um, expecting to die. It's, and I've got a few other areas I'm desperate to try and get done. I mean, there's some parts of a house which never get cleaned, ever. You know, on top of the kitchen cabinets, right on top, near the ceiling. Yeah. Um, I'm not looking forward to that particular experience. And of course, there's some cupboards under there, which I haven't really touched because they were pretty manky anyway. I haven't really stored anything in them because they were pretty manky anyway. And yeah. Um, so if I sort of like suddenly come on the camera with lots of like play blotches all over my face, or, you know, ringing a bell saying, I'm clean, I'm clean. Then you'll obviously know I've been taking my um, domestic hygiene incredibly, incredibly seriously. For those of you who don't know, I'm now back on Keen.com. I'll soon be getting myself back onto live person, not full time, because I've still got two other agencies to work on as well, uh, as going through the process of um, continuing to make my YouTube videos too. Therefore, a lot of my time is taken up, and I'm trying to work really hard at the moment because I am trying to get some money together so I can put down a deposit on a house which I can then use to transform into something which will be as close to self-sufficient and off-grid as I can get because that's my personal goal. And of course that takes some money to start the ball rolling, okay, to get out of this wonderful place which I've been in and onto something bigger and better. The Get Me Off Grid video blog which is youtube.com slash user slash get me off grid is the one in which I've, you know, I've been showing some of the things that I've been doing from some of the most basic, more amateurish stuff onto something a little more professional and stylish. And of course, more stuff will be coming. The Tarot Show is the one which I'm really pissed off about because I haven't done anything there for a long, 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 long time. Uh, one of the reasons for this is that the Tarot Show, which is about a half hour you know, YouTube show, takes a lot of time in preparation. Okay, for those people out there who are YouTube users, who make long videos, um, edit them, make sure they're looking good, add the titles, maybe a few effects here and there, a few fades and all the rest of that, and good transitions. Uh, if you make a long video, even if your camera is um, creating .avi files and you don't need to convert the file, it's still a lengthy process taking up many, many, many hours. And so it's difficult. I mean, right now I've got Keen.com open and like my phone's over there. So essentially I'm, I'm right now I'm, I'm, I'm at work. I'm in the office. All right. But I can still have enough time between calls to shoot a video. But when I'm doing the tarot show, that's like a dedicated 45 minutes worth of filming. Okay. Followed by like three hours worth of editing. Followed by the process of rendering. And I can't do much on the computer when the video is rendering because basically the you know the hardware the software can't handle it it can't handle me having the web pages open and all the rest of that all the time and my computer's getting a bit old you know i mean the cost of the coal to put into the boiler you know it, 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 it goes through the roof you know i mean it's, it's getting old i mean it was a refurbished machine when i got it that was about four or five years ago now um and it's doing very well but there's little bits on it which are broken, such as the CD, DVD drive and the connections to the CD and DVD drive. Um, the front cover carries on coming off. Um, <sighs> so, you know, it, it's difficult. So essentially, if, if the operating system fails, I can't load another operating system back onto the computer again. I just can't do it. Because the ability to even put a new cd or dvd drive into the machine is knackered okay i can't do that so i'm going to have to be investing in, in the not too distant future in a new computer okay so that's going to take work 
so that's another reason why I'm working extra hard now, uh, or, or at least putting in more hours and trying to get a bit more revenue in. It's not really because I'm a capitalist pig, it's because I've got things to achieve, all right? Some people say, you know, hey, you know you're just doing it for the money. Well, it's my job. <laughs> you know, you go to work so you can earn money, so you can do the things you need to. And when you can do the things you need to, you can then dedicate more time for other people. At least that's the way, that's the way I see it, all right? And it keeps me off the street, so that's a good thing too. So, that's more or less a basic update as to what's happening with me. Sorry, I haven't, you know, I've got like a three, at least three um, private messages to go through, which all talk about, you know, astral projection, spooky experiences, and that sort of stuff. And I'll be doing some videos on them soon. That type of video requires a bit more preparation than just me sitting here in front of the camera and just rambling. Okay, because I, I can ramble. Okay, you want me to ramble? I can ramble. All right, gold medalist, you know what I mean? Next Olympics, actually no, I don't think it'll ever be an Olympic sport, but we could, we, we can live in hope that rambling will become an Olympic sport. Actually, no, I, I... <laughs> I really got to cut down on the caffeine, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> 